Okay, we're going to do a bleed on this oil furnace. This is kind of generically what most of these furnaces are going to kind of look like. And I'm going to zoom in on the bleeder. The pump is right here. And the bleeder is going to be in the pump. The bleeders are not all in the same place. Some of them, but a few of them are down here. This one's actually on top. So they can be any place, but when you see them, you'll pretty under, much understand what you're looking for. Okay, this is your bleeder right here. Okay, when I go to bleed these things, what I like to do is take a uh, 3 8 box end wrench and place it over the bleeder right there. And I like to use clear tube to put on these things. And get your clear tube pushed over on it and then put your tube into like a bucket or a coffee can, something like that. That's I've got it down near into that little uh, cup. Now, there's several things may happen when you start to bleed this, and the reason we're using this clear tubing is because we can see what it's bled. Now, what's bleeding out? Now it's closed right now, and I'm going to fire this thing up. Okay, now if I wanted to bleed this thing, I would crack it open, and you can see what's going on here. Now that's air. There's air in this thing, and you want it to go until it gets clear. Now this is not the best oil in the world, and this is about as clear as this oil gets. This is some old used oil I got from something. But you can see where you had bubbles in that. And that's what you're trying to get rid of. Now you've gotten rid of all the bubbles. You can uh, get a little bit more air through there. And then once you've got all the air bubbles out, then you shut it off. Don't shut the unit off until you shut that bleeder off. Okay. And so it started to actually just bleed bubbles. And there's hardly anything coming through. If you look down on the... You can see there's just nothing coming through. Okay, that's a blockage almost certainly. Uh, you can also... Okay, in this case, all we're doing is we're pumping air. You can see the air pumping through there. That is a vacuum leak in the line. Sometimes the burner will run for a little while and then it'll shut off and it'll do all sorts of things like that. This can also be uh, an empty oil tank uh, where it'll bring a little bit of oil but mostly air through uh, and the burner will start and stop. Okay, this one, when you open it up, just nothing happens. Uh, good possibility, you get, could have a pump failure, could have a coupler failure, uh, you could just have a plug filter that won't let anything through. Okay, in summary, a bunch of little bubbles, you probably got a mostly plugged filter, something like that. If you have a large amount of big bubbles coming through, uh, that could mean a vacuum leak, or you could be completely out of oil uh, where it's sucking air in. If you have nothing at all, that could be the pump. It could be the pump coupler. Or uh, it could be a completely blocked filter or the valves just shut off. And that's it for bleeding the oil furnace.